behold, what is in the garage today? Ooh, what's this? I like that. There's going to be a video about this in the near future, don't you guys worry. But this video, a while back as you guys know, I got some 55 gallon plastic bales from my employer. We get them from Napa and they contain 55 US gallons of washer solvent. You know the blue stuff you buy at the gas station for like $2.99 a gallon? Well this stuff costs us about $500 for these barrels, washer solvent barrels and all. And I brought some home, cut the tops off of them to make trash cans. Because as far as I'm concerned, if my employer can't throw them away, and I take like a dozen or so home, nobody's going to miss them, nobody really cares that I take them. And they make an excellent trash can. I've got one, two, three. I've got three trash cans set up in the garage and two or three barrels back here behind the Farmall Super C that I haven't done anything with. Yeah, there's just two back there. But you know, I got to thinking, guys, if I can make trash barrels out of these 55 gallon drums some work, why can't I do something else with them? A couple summers ago, we had a, a pretty big garden out at the farm, and I would take, I'd fill the back of this truck, or uh, I would fill up my trailer, which is over there by what a year extended builds with a Tonka toy truck, with several, many five gallon buckets to get myself like 50 gallons of water. So you'd be looking at 10 to 11 five gallon buckets. Well, my dad, my dad went out and bought a rainwater collection kit for a barrel like this. This has water in it now. And it was very easy to install. I drilled a hole think like a one inch and three sixteenths hole or something like that. Put the grommet in there to seal it, threaded the adapter in, and then threaded on the little ball valve. Well, this isn't a rain collection system, but I can fill this up through the top. It takes about six minutes to fill up, maybe a little more than that. And then I can take this barrel, instead of one or many five gallon buckets out to the farm, and water everything through regular hose or some drip irrigation system that I have that I have hose for in the new garage there. So that's what I'm using these barrels for now. At least that's what I'm going to use some of them for. Maybe another one or two barrels like that. I'm going to set up with the drip irrigation system. But that got me going about something else. That got me going about rainwater collection. Our garage has no gutter on it, and I was thinking. That if we were to put gutter on the garage, we could have a barrel in the back, and a barrel in the front, or put two bales on the same side of the building, run some gutter, and then run kind of some kind of straining system to filter out the debris and whatnot from the from the roof and the gutters, and then collect rainwater. I don't have much experience in the field of collecting rainwater. I know a lot of people on YouTube do. I've watched some videos on it myself. But I need you guys to give me some pointers on setting the system up like that. You know, care, stuff like that. So, comment, rate, subscribe, drop a video response about rainwater collection system and other uses for these bales. And I'll be sure to look into it and get back to you. So, I'll see you guys later.